Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to be playing some Heroes and Generals as the new Soviet patch just came out and I thought I'd give it a go and see what it plays like. Ironically enough, today I'm going to be playing as a Nazi and as you can see I'm using the General Infantry Rifle, the G43. Just a bit of background for you on the weapon. It was originally developed by Nazi Germany as an adaption of the G41 using an improved gas system similar to that of the Soviet SVT-40. It was the second design of the Nazi semi-automatic rifles and fared particularly well in battle. So today I thought I'd talk about one of the most important battles ever fought using these two weapons. The battle for Moscow lasted more than seven months and goes down in history as one of the bloodiest battles in World War II. For Hitler, defeating Moscow meant winning the Second World War, which was something that he clearly wanted very much. In order to achieve this goal, his generals had to raise their forces for this battle including almost half of all artillery, aviation, tanks, and personnel. Travelling more than 60 kilometres a day, the German army had covered more than one third of the distance to Moscow in just a week. In a fortnight, it was already over halfway there, and in a month, the bright lights of the city were in the Nazi sights. Hitler and his men were convinced that the Soviets would fall in just days. They were so confident of this, they actually hauled several tons of red granite to erect a statue of Hitler in the middle of the city. Of course, Fate decided otherwise, and Moscow never surrendered. The Soviet defensive operation to defend Moscow actually took place 250 kilometers west of the city, and the Soviet army managed to contain the enemy forces long enough for reinforcements to come, but at the same time they also weakened the German offensive considerably, which allowed the reinforcements to conduct an offensive operation just a month later. At the same time this was all happening, Stalin ordered a military parade in the middle of Moscow just to show how unfazed the city and its people were about the Germans. Thousands of people turned out to watch, and they all showed that they were prepared to fight to the bitter end. In the end, Moscow was saved and the Germans had to retreat, but many people believed the price to defend the city was too high, with hundreds upon thousands of people dying in the process. But that's all I wanted to say today guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop it a like, and if you enjoyed me, feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.